Legend the way, so dubs on the run. No turtle is safe when he's on the hunt. Witness the sack, just give it a rub. Cause who knows what you'll find? Toy hunting with dub. Hey friends, another Wednesday, another Wednesday hunt video. We gotta be nearing the end of Wednesday hunt videos for the month of June, right? We are in the last full week of June which uh, means we're closing in on the last few days to use the hashtag BDubFit to win June's prizes, including the amazing signed by Judith Hogue, April O'Neil NECA figure, uh, that you need to go back to that video where you see April is BDubFit. And if you want to enter that for your personal collection, please don't enter it if you don't want to win. You follow those instructions, but use the hashtag BDubFit everywhere else for other June prizes. Uh, now, I've been on the hunt uh, out of curiosity, more than anything, to see Marvel Legends at Target again. I have not seen Marvel Legends at Target uh, new ones on the pegs, really in like two months, uh, I think. I have not seen the Thor wave there. I do know there is the Thor exclusive, like Clone Thor or the Rag Ragnarok Thor. Um, that's a Target exclusive, but I haven't seen that. Uh, in fact, since they clearanced out all the Eternals figures, um, I haven't seen any Marvel Legends at all. Uh, they had the Eternals forever and ever and ever. Before that, they had the Shang-Chi forever and ever and ever. Um, before that, they had the Black Widow forever and ever and ever. Uh, that X-Men um, Age of Apocalypse wave sat. A bunch of that got clearanced out. Um, Retro carded Spider-Man, they got early, right? We, I think we were finding those uh, well ahead of Walmart, but just like one one case. Then Walmart has had those forever. I've seen those at Walmart a ton. Uh, those have not been hard to find. So there's really not, for me at least, there has been no Marvel Legends hard to find in the last, uh, let's just say six months, as long as I've been doing hashtag beat fit because I haven't hunted for Marvel Legends for several years. Uh, before that because I don't collect them myself personally um, We do get one of every MCU character for the kiddo um, For her collection uh, one instance uh, Buys pre-order that stuff usually um, In fact always or, or we've picked them up from friends or friends have sent them to her or whatever Helped us out and we get one of each symbiote um, So I have had no trouble with Marvel Legends finding Marvel Legends until just recently and I've hunted a lot. I've been in a wall, like, you know, at least six to eight Walmarts slash Targets every week for the whole year. And uh, never been hard to find it, but now they're not there at Target. So, you know, you've heard me speculate a lot that something changed. I thought it was interesting. There were multiple articles that came out recently, uh, middle of the month of June, that Walmart and Target both, uh, after you know, their most recent earnings statements and uh, with inflation and, and everything else, that customer sentiment to customer purchases is down significantly year over year, that the era of pandemic spending is over and that customers now are not, are looking to spend their money on experiences and going back out again and doing the things that they lost and they couldn't do during the pandemic. So nicer clothes or nicer shoes or makeup or uh, whatever gift cards, I guess, uh, things to go out and do. And they're not using it on the things that were in the pandemic spending category, which is like new TVs and new sound systems and uh, lounge clothes, athletic clothes, and collectibles, and movies, and video games, and all that kind of stuff. They are not doing that as much. And so those categories... Walmart, Target are overstocked. They have too much stuff. And thus they've been clearancing them in mass to get rid of them and canceling orders from distributors for new product in those categories because they have to reset themselves before they get back to the holiday season, which for retail, the holiday season is really like back to school time frame, really. September kind of starts in October, especially, but the holidays when you go from, from, uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas, I think, you know, ahead of Halloween, they've got to be ready for holiday season. 
And so they've been clearancing large scale categories. I think in a recent hunt video we saw on a target that they had all the women's apparel, like huge amounts of women's apparel clearanced. Um, and then I saw those articles. So interesting enough, it does seem like there's certainly something happening. Um, maybe it doesn't mean that they're not carrying Marvel Legends anymore, but it means that they are slowing down their ordering process. That customer demand is not there for a lot of stuff. And it's gonna make that stuff a little bit harder to find, at least in the short term. Now, maybe once they get reset, once we get back to uh, normal and the new holiday season, whatever, uh, maybe their ordering schedule will commence back to the way it used to be, but we may have a gap right now. So I thought that was interesting. I wanted to share that here at the beginning of this hunt video. I know it's, that's not necessarily a hunt, but I've been looking for legends at Target for a long time. That's what this video specifically is gonna be today. We're going to a Target to see if they have uh, legends. And I thought it would just be interesting to kind of catch up on because I've been curious about that. You all know that watch the channel. Uh, if you watch it for more than just the hunt stuff that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a businessman and I'm curious about the business side of things and what's happening. Um, and the logistics and the supply chain and, you know, at the senior levels of management, the decision making, because I have to do a lot of that in my job and uh, just understanding what's going on in my hobby. I just think that's, that's part of the hobby I enjoy. I know it's not a lot of part of the hobby a lot of people enjoy. But if it can help give some clarity around when you can find stuff, then it is useful, even if you don't care that much about the business side and you just would like to get your plastic. Um, you know, because that's going to disrupt online orders uh, and so forth and so on. So we'll start with that. Uh, you know, if you can't find your Legends at Target, you can always find them at the Big Bad Toy Store using the link below. Really helps the channel. Uh, again, appreciate everybody supporting May. Hopefully you checked out the Big Bad Toy Store Pile of Loot unboxing for June, where we unboxed uh, the stuff we picked up this month and uh, everything else. So continuing on the giveaways, we will do something slightly different in the July uh, when we get to the second half of Hashtag Beat Up Fit. I believe by now all of the winners from the June giveaway, I, I sent six things out. I think they all got their stuff. Uh, so on and on we go with Hashtag Beat Up Fit. Please try to enter that April, win that April O'Neill figure, uh, that big halfway point of the goal. Um, you know, because in, in comment in that section and to encourage people and vote, you know, give thumbs up and comments to people that you're really impressed with and help encourage everybody that's making the most positive comment section on YouTube. And uh, now then, let's go to Target. Let's see if they got Marvel Legends. I think I am no better what Pokemon we may or may not need. Cause I got a bunch of uh, Pokemon that we bought twice. Speaking of, it's for sale on my eBay, it's not eBay store, it's just eBay listing. Uh, the link is now in my description. So if you want to check out what I'm selling on eBay, um, we have some stuff up there. A lot of that is stuff that, uh, you know, Kaya may be selling or Natalie may be selling or whatever, but it's just under my eBay name. So anything that we may be selling will be listed there. That's the only place we're really selling it right now. I'm not going to um, list on Mercari or our Facebook group or anything because that you know that's David and I's venture with Double D Collectibles. I'm not trying to compete with that. I'm just trying to use a eBay's the easiest platform for the girls to lo to learn and Kai can make some extra money over the summer and all that. So if you want to pick up some of the duplicates, whatever, uh, check it out the eBay store or the eBay link in the description, and uh, you can have yourself something that lived and housed up. Anyway, let's get to Target. Let's get on with it. See if they got any Marvel Legends. We're here at Target. Well, you can't see it, trees in the way. So hopefully we'll find some Marvel Legends. Uh, now will I buy those? That's a different question. If it's something that I think might work with the giveaway because there's nothing I'm looking for for me, it's for you. Anyway, have you been enjoying the dub life? The last three weeks, all cons, four out of five weeks cons. Uh, this week coming up, Let's see, when you're watching this, um, it won't be a con. We'll be going to a con. So the next week will be a con. It'll be more of a local around the house, around the area. So have you been enjoying it? I've been trying to give a lot of really good con coverage. We've had a ton of fun getting all those autographs and meeting people and pictures and Kaya's been cosplaying and she got up there in front of a panel and she got to do a press conference and lots of cool stuff, cool experiences. And, I'm really trying to give her a lot of opportunities to do what she wants to do and kind of learn who she is and discover who she is and who she wants to be. And 
Uh, just open doors, you know? Give her the opportunity to be creative and be who she wants to be. And it's been a lot of fun. So I hope you've been enjoying us. Now then, let's, uh, we'll start the Pokemon section. Just in case, there's Marvel Legends. It's kind of busy in here this morning. Kind of busy. All the times I've been in this Target, at least since COVID, I, this Pizza Hut, I've never seen actually open. You can get Icy's, but I have never seen that you could get pizza, that Pizza Hut. Now, usually I am here in the morning. It may not be the Pizza Hut time, but I've never seen it open. Let's see what we got cards wise. Stars and Stripes. Oh, UFC, Panini, Don Russ. Hanger pack, $15. What the heck comes in that for $15? Magic cards, UFC, Don Russ. So, oh no, that's not Panini. Or it is Panini. I guess I didn't know Don Russ and Panini are the same company. So this guy, debut edition, 15 cards per pack, six packs per box. I don't think either of them, maybe neither of those are the right price. Let's see. 0871299. Oh, that's not. This is the barcode, not the DCPI. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, why would I buy that? If I can buy that. And what's the difference between the white one and the red one? Oh, that isn't a difference. I don't know. I mean, it's not that it's anything I'm really interested in. Just curious. Showing you all. Pokemon, we definitely have more Peko. We definitely have Bolton. Shining Fates ETB. I didn't realize the Shining Fate ones is more expensive than the Darkness of Blaze. We've recently opened up. Oh, they have Astro Radiance. I may pick some more of those up for the kiddo. Uh, 10 booster packs. One for a promo card featuring EVV Max. And does this only have eight? Maybe that's why it's more expensive. Yeah. That's two more. I'm going to pick some of these up, though. Oh, you can't see that. Hey, I just grabbed a five. There's still limit to five, at least the sign says, so I'm not gonna go over that. I just the uh, new Astral Radiance packs. I think I have five more at home, plus we have an ETB. I need to just start pre-ordering uh, booster boxes. But like at places where you can get them, some places you can pre-order for like 80 bucks for 36 packs or 90 bucks. Way cheaper than buying it like this. Uh, Cause we've opened most in fact, I think all of the big box stuff we have that have like the big cards across the most recent live stream, but we uh, we got a bunch of ETBs that we still need to open a bunch. And we have like five or six booster boxes, but we'll do those like standalone as their own video. I'm just walking around the kids section. Let me get that to figure out. Got an end cap of Lego, no Marvel Legends, just random. I guess that's a Lego paid for. End cap. All right, here we go. Four. Oh, looky, looky. Marvel Legends at Target. There's the Thor wave, Thor figure. Thor Love and Blunder Groot. I don't see Groot. And then a bunch of that right there. A bunch of that thing. Is the thing cool? 31.49. We got Goat Boat. So this is supposed to be the Thor end cap. It got Jane's helmet. Huh. Well, that's good. Ragnarok. Ragnarok at Target. And there we go. Thirty-one forty-nine. So what's that? A kid feature role play. Well, good news. That's good. Let's get in there close. Let me zoom. We'll zoom it. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. I guess you could make it a regular Thor too. It's got that. It's got the definitely the Marvel Select style spinning hammer. That's a pretty cool figure, actually. So I grabbed one. There are nine more. So they've had ten at least. Maybe they had twelve. A cork, shampoo bottle cork. I like cork, but not shampoo bottle. Well, and not in the Marvel Legends section. There is this Thor as well. I think he's going to be pretty readily available. He's two packed. Well, I don't know. I mean, honestly. Because other than that sweet spot that he was at uh, Tar or Walmart early, somebody's hit a Lego set there. Somebody's hit it. Unless this is clearance. No, this is not clearance. This will be clearance. No. Rhea, Disney Princess. That's not clearance either. Also not clearance there. There we go. Anything we need at this clearance aisle? No. 
is just random stuff. Let's look at this Lego aisle. There's some people standing with arms crossed, looking upset right there. Carnage. I need to build those helmets. I need to build a lot of Lego. We saw Jurassic World. We liked it. That T-Rex breakout, obviously, from the first movie, but is a cool build. I could see us picking that up. I've been tempted to pick up these Harry Potter sets. I saw one of the Lego YouTubers um, changed all these green roofs to the color to these roofs and combined those and like those, like the clock tower you see is the older set. This is the new modular set and make like a massive, massive Harry Potter castle, minifigure scale. I thought it looked really cool. We haven't bought any of those new ones, but that is a temptation to me. More Lego here. It's almost all like adult Lego stuff there. That typewriter is very cool. That's another one we need to get. Jurassic World Dominion stuff. Oh, Jurassic World, buy one, get one. 50% off to celebrate the movie. Oh, yeah. I suppose. Let me go down that aisle in a minute. With the little ones there. A bunch of light year stuff as that movie is imminent. Or is out, I guess. Or at least in Rampage Pack. Is this Hammond Collection? No, it's not Hammond Collection. That's Hammond Collection. So are those nicer? Because they're both kind of three and three quarter scale. Those are the cheaper ones. Those are nicer. Let's see, there's a Velociraptor. And I'm sure there's another. That's Beta. I don't know. I don't know the difference. So Dr. V and Malcolm. Mirrorverse. I want to see that. So there's a, a Bing Bong. I want a Mattel, there's a, or I don't know who makes it, I don't think it's a Mattel, oh this is Mattel, Woody, there's a Bing Bong in this line from Inside Out, who's your friend who loves to play Bing Bong Bing Bong, I would actually pick that up if I found it, but I have no idea where that's sold at, King Grayskull, now recently, um, my man Kent Poole saw, like the new Beast Man, I think, King Grayskull, King Grayskull, that's all King Grayskull, Stinkor, I think he's big, but maybe he's big like that big. He is not here. Triclops, Savage He-Man. There's that uh, Demogorgon that we do have, and I actually think it's pretty nice. That's a lot of yelling. There's a whole bunch of a Batista at this target as well. Death Trooper. Uh, do we need any of that? Any chases? These are the these AEW figures have been here forever. They may be the next one to fall victim to the this target carry conversation. All right, let's go to the other half. R2-D2 droids. Uh, mean Mark. Nia Jax. Any Pokemon stuff here? No. So let's see. Do they have Marvel Legends in the Marvel Legends section? That answer is still no. Nor any hanger tags. So just that Thor end cap. No, what's the the bone breaker, Wolverine and all that? None of that at this target, at least not yet. So I mean, there won't be. There's a Jurassic World display over there. Rangers, I did get that pink ranger recently. I have all four of those Ninja Rangers so far. Thought about getting them signed. I probably should have. Hopper, that Hopper's not bad. There's Joker, Clayface. I'd like to see the Joker Dragon. I haven't seen that yet. Joker Titan, though. No? Superboy Prime. There's the next figure in that coming, which is a Wonder Woman. That has another piece of Starro. I'm gonna get all that because I want to have Starro, and I think that is also Target exclusive. But I don't see it. I am not gonna pre-order that because if I never find it, I never find it. So be it. But if I do find it, I do find it. Sweep, Blaster. I don't remember if I got that Blaster, and I don't think I did. I should. <laughs> Lando hidden back there, Short Trooper. All right, Neca Funko time. Let's see what we got. Aang. Ultra Instinct Goku. Dread Pirate Roberts. Oh, the Atrociraptor. I now know what that is. I don't know if I had seen that before the movie. But now that I've seen the movie, I know what that is. There's just random things that are still down there. That have just been sitting down there. I've shown you that multiple times. They just sit there. They're not on clearance. It's like no one knows they're there. Lando. I think there's an Eternal. So I'll walk down there and show you. I think there's a, a, a uh, maybe Icarus, one of those figures, Eternals figures. There's a Castle Grey Skull. It's like people scanned them and just left them. What do we got? Lando, Lando, 
Wrecker. Oh, that uh, eternal figure isn't there anymore. I guess somebody got it. Back to the NECA Funko section. This target is actually pretty clean and well organized most of the time, but there's just certain little pockets of it that never get updated. Pops over here, I don't think we care about. Pops over there. All big ones, I don't think we care about. Let's see, big Ron Weasley. Gunslinger spawn, lots of spawn. Lots of Cygor, lots and lots of Cygor. Probably 10 of those things. There's an open <laughs> Master Sword. Isn't this a light of some sort or a, oh, that's just like a piece of cardboard. But that, that's just a light. I guess a USB charger maybe. I don't know why that's there. The Nedry, oh there, there he is. Seductive Ian Malcolm. Huh, I should bring that for Victoria. I'll definitely send her a picture. Oswald Cobblepot, 11. I would like to find the Stranger Things pop that is a Dustin in the Thinking Cap cap, because Kai liked that. I'd get it for if I found it. But I haven't seen a lot of the non-exclusive Stranger Things pops. Wing that screw loose. Metalhead. Same stuff. Nothing new. Nothing new. All right. I think I'm going to pick up this Ragnarok for the, uh, the giveaway I have available in the June giveaway. Uh, I do not like that it's thirty-one fifty. I don't like that at all. So, I mean, in reality, but with this prize, with tax, and by the time I ship it, it's 50 bucks for a single Marvel Legend as a giveaway. Somewhere around there. That ain't it. That just ain't it. They trying to drive us all to stop collecting anything. Which I think people are on the path to. Anyway, but I'm going to pick it up because it's pretty cool. And maybe some folks can't find it, even though there's 10 of them here. So, But with Target distribution, sometimes one store gets 10 and 10 other stores get zero. So I'll pick it up. I'm going to talk to you in the car. Okay, so I call it a success. Pick this up, a giveaway. Picked up five of the Astral Radiance packs. Success, 31.49. I think I rung that up first before or after tax it was... 34 bucks at the door. Man, I mean, I just don't know how people keep doing it. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that will be in the June giveaway. Um, and it was good to see Marvel Legends at Target. Also, they had the regular Thor. That's two per, two per case from the Thor movie. So it was interesting. It was on its own end cap, all Thor stuff. Uh, sometimes that stuff gets sent as a whole box, but a lot of that other Thor stuff we had seen before. I don't think I had seen the Jane cosplay mask. Um, you know, maybe there's a street day on it where they can only put it out at a certain time to get ready for the movie. Um, are we inside a month? No, we're still like, maybe we're a month away. I think that's mid-July. I'm excited for that movie. I just don't have not memorized the date. I think it's the weekend after 4th of July, whatever that is, like the 8th maybe. Uh, so... Pick that up. Good to see Marvel Legends at Target again, although not in the normal section. Uh, no Bone Breaker Wave like other people are finding. So, all curious. All remains curious. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the hunt uh, and all of our discussions that we had along the way. And uh, hope you're having a good week. We'll talk to you on Friday. Squeeze it.